My name is uh, Francisco Raymond, professor of chemistry at the University of Miami. And in my lab, we develop strategies to uh, photoactivate fluorescence. In particular, we are developing systems designed to switch from an unemissive state to an emissive state under illumination at an activating wavelength, and then emit light in the form of fluorescence under irradiation at an exciting wavelength. And we are interested in these systems because photoactivatable fluorophores <coughs> can be used to record fluorescence images with resolution at the nanometer level. In fact, the switching events associated with fluorescence activation can be exploited to overcome the limitations that diffraction imposes on the resolution of conventional optical microscopes. And this is because closely spaced photoactivatable fluorophores can be distinguished at different intervals of time simply by turning on independently their fluorescence at different intervals of time. And so it is possible to map the position of multiple photoactivatable fluorophores acquiring in sequence images and turning on their fluorescence at different intervals of time. And we are developing photoactivatable fluorophores using um, um, fluorescent and photochromic components. We connect covalently the two components within the same molecular skeleton and then under illumination at the right activating wavelength the photochromic component switches to a new state that affects the electronic structure of the fluorescent component and alters its ability to absorb at an exciting wavelength and therefore emit. For example, we have connected a coumarin fluorophore to a photochromic oxygen and under illumination at an activating wavelength of 355 nanometers, the oxygen ring opens, bringing the coumarin fluorophore in conjugation with the indolium cation of the resulting zwitterionic isomer. And this structural transformation shifts badochromically the absorption of the coumarin fluorophore and allows the absorption of an exciting radiation and activates its fluorescence. And in collaboration with Professor Sertino at the University of Catania in Italy, we have demonstrated that it is possible to switch this system from one state to the other on a microsecond time scale for hundreds of times without seeing any significant degradation. And in collaboration with Professor Bossi at the University of Buenos Aires in Argentina, we have also demonstrated that the switching events can be exploited to reconstruct images with subdiffraction resolution according to the protocol that uh, I described earlier. For example, we can trap these molecules inside polymer nanoparticles and then deposit the resulting particles on glass and we can image them acquiring in sequence multiple images and in the resulting reconstructed map it is possible to in identify individual particles even when they are separated by distances that are close to 100 nanometers. Instead, a conventional diffraction limited image um, cannot distinguish individual particles. They appear um, together as a single fluorescent spot. Um, challenges in uh, this area revolve around the identification of strategies to improve the basic for the chemical and for the physical properties of these compounds with a combination of chemical synthesis and spectroscopic analysis. In addition, it is also essential to learn how to operate these systems in environments that are compatible with biological samples without compromising the uh, basic for the chemical and for the physical properties of these molecules. And efforts in these directions will hopefully lead to uh, an entire family of valuable probes for bioimaging applications that can complement existing synthetic dyes and fluorescent proteins.